Hey guys, welcome to Just Nukem Gaming. This is Nuke here. So today we're doing another trial video for our next big playthrough once we complete our frost run. And if you haven't been able to guess it so far, just kind of looking around what we're looking at. We're actually going a little bit more old school with Fallout 3. But, you know, it's not quite big enough. So instead, we're actually going to do a little more extra. And to kind of give you a clue about what we're doing, I think I'm going to name this, this run, A Tale of Three Wastelands. So, A Tale of Two Wastelands is, uh, was a big mod made for Fallout New Vegas, which basically imported Fallout 3 into the game allows you to play them both together. Uh, what's going to make this one even a little bit bigger, now which is already actually pretty big, is that by we got some pops running through this door here. We can actually go to a place called New California. That's right. We're actually not doing one game. We're not doing two games. We're actually going to be doing three games, all back to back in one game. So that's what the plan for this is. So I already did the Vault 101 stuff. It's all pretty much the same. Probably seen it hundreds of times. You know, we're going around here. We're going to kill some raiders real quick. Just by even looking at the drop scar, you see that we're already picking up some extra stuff that wasn't even in ready to fall out. Three. Such as 32 pistol. Which was something we saw in New Vegas. So a lot of that stuff got brought over. Generally, much the idea is we're going to run through New California first, which is going to be a lot of new stuff for me. I'd... And we're going to see a lot of the same old systems, such as need to repair and maintain our equipment. Oh, we can, oh yeah, that's a super weak pistol. But we did mod in some new weapons as well, just to kind of freshen up the play. This nice little Uzi here. Oh, okay. As I was saying before, I got completely... Utterly distracted. New California is going to be mostly new playthrough for me. Uh, did the beta years ago, but it's like opening parts of the, like, the game, so there's a lot of new stuff there. Uh, we'll run through that and we'll come back to the wasteland or capital wasteland area. Then we'll go to uh, Mojave. Let's switch to that. Oh. 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 
repair that now, Borg. Oh, we already got an early sniper up. don't think character is the only factor in deciding victory, then you've been playing the wrong game this whole damn time. The world was playing the wrong game 200 years ago. They learned what it meant to be found faulty in character. For their failure, they became a wasteland of nuclear hellfire. Now out there is a 
horde of men calling themselves survivalists, remnants of the old world, thinking they can get by just on the strength of their arms alone. There's the new California Republic, gambling away the glory of America's past on a legion of slaves trying to rise against their masters on some old forgotten highway. None of them have any idea what kind of character it takes to bring the greatest nation on earth back to glory. But down here, in Vault 18, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about winning that war. Right here, right now, on this battlefield. You are the last of America's finest men and women. You're the A-list. The rest of those idiots are a thing of the past. Now is your time. You'll get out there and show that you have the character it takes to bring America back to glory. Can I get a hurrah? Damn right! Now move out! Make the play, kid. Come on! Come on. Alright, so that was actually a nice little retro opening, which is really great, considering the fact that this is made purely by, you know, the modding community. So, we're going to tackle. We want to do that. Yes, yes. And we're going to run this ball. Go, kid, go. Run it out. Character. That was the best play I have seen in years, kid. The whole vault is singing your praise this season. Looks like Bragg's Patriots put another trophy on the shelf, thanks to you. Now, I've been told you've got a career to look forward to. You made the final touchdown of the season, so that should give you just about any job you want in here. Shame you can't put it to real use out in the wasteland. With a backbone like that, you could do a lot of good up top. Hmm. No, what is that? You're thing? welcome. And don't call me sir. I work for a living. Oh, great. You came back a moron. And the uh, thanks, coach, sir. Come on, kid, put together a damn sentence for God's sake. Jesus Not very Christ. Person. You know, you always have been my star player, despite how numb you are. I was talking to Chevy up in the security department. Those halfwits in the overseer's office actually want to put you to work in maintenance. Idiots don't know what kind of special mind you've got. How would you like to work for Vault Security instead of those crap scrubbers? I am, and I suppose you're a genuine patriot. I've never been a big fan of our benevolent vault tech overlords. I'm here to represent democracy and the American way. We're gonna bring America back to glory. How about it, kid? Hey, kid, before you go, I want to ask you something. You were born in the wasteland, from what I understand. Now, I'm new to this place and I like to get to know all my best players. But I don't know much about you yet. Huh, strange. Hmm. Well, at any rate, you've been raised by your fellow Americans, and that's all that matters to me. I'm starting to organize an after-school program for motivated athletes like yourself, and I'd like you to be there. You've picked yourself a bright future. But what if one day that future was threatened? Would you be willing to stand up next to me and fight for your country? Of 
Don't be a moron. I mean America. This ain't just a concern for a few extra hours. It's a lifetime commitment. I'm talking about the possibility of this fault falling to the tide of outside forces. I'm talking about the suspicious. new California Republic. The survivalists. Super mutants. And it doesn't just stop at the vault door. Not all of us have been calling Vault 18 home for 200 years. You know what's up there? What's coming like it came for the others? You can't just sit and hide while the powers above storm over this great nation. People like you and I have got to fall in and throw our weight behind an effort to save the America we survived to protect and serve. You understand what I'm saying. Damn right, soldier. Oh, right. I can tell you have a high endurance already, and you have the strength you need to survive in this world. Now listen, I think you have what it takes to be a great leader, but you're gonna need above average charisma and a damn fine set of combat skills. I want you to go check out that vigor tester on the wall over there, and if you score right, I'm gonna put you at the top of my A-list. Give me a shout when you're done. Let's see. I think we pretty well have our stats already figured out. See, so yeah, we're fairly high on strength, so we have some carry weight. Average on perception. A little above on endurance for some health. A little above for charisma. High intelligence because we want those skill points. Agility a little bit above. Because we do like to use our ballistic weapons and luck. Well, you know, I'm not a big fan of luck, so. That's that's gonna be our character. And we'll run that through the whole game. Yeah, we got level three. To or I put one to gun nut. No, we'll go rapid. So, how did it turn out? Damn fine work, but we already knew that. Hmm, so it does. Yeah, well, brains are all well and good. If you want to be a... Nice, well done, soldier. Oh, you've done everything right by my standards. You've earned it. Good talk, <laughs> Right. Now get out of my office, punk ass. We got some vault balls. I'm tempted to steal some stuff, but I don't think he's gonna like that. Okay, let's. So we're looking for Lieutenant Chevy. <clears throat> Heavy vault suit and a vault ball. That's beautiful. Hey, lady. And here we have tonight's vault hero. You really know how to handle yourself, big guy. Can I ask for a quick post-game play-by-play? 
Well, sounds like we got that. Great. I've just got some mm, stuff to talk to you about. You know, vault drama. We'll get it over with quick. Sure. Don't keep me waiting, Tiger. Cave outside the vault. Definitely seen a lot of bobbleheads in here. Okay, we got our locker room. We'll take the beer. Darts are good. Ooh, a hockey mask. I don't think we really need the glue. Baseball bat, that gives us nice. Good weapon. Oh yeah, we're looting up good here. These guys have an awful lot of brass knuckles on them. We'll take another ball ball, why not? Let's look at this weaponry. Oh yeah, we need to do a lot of repairing. Uh, you know that's actually got better defense. Twenty-one versus fifteen. So yeah, we'll go with the spike. Pretty sure that's not right. We'll go with them spot like this for a little bit. Ah. People are just littering, littering everywhere. It's lovely. Hey, congratulations on the big win. That was some sick footwork knocking over Johnny Matheson. And that ugly oaf didn't stand a chance. You're a bruiser. Ha, huh, well, kinda. I'm just filling in for Carl Weathers. Bragg kicked him off the Patriots for the night, so I had to fill in. I'm not exactly one of the Patriots. I just like to get tough now and then and toss a few boys around the gym. I try. Hey, what are you doing tonight? You want to come join Eric and I for a little post-game after party? Sure. Well, like party. we might have acquired some of the private stash of alcohol that chemistry nerds brew up in hydroponics. You care to walk the line of scientific possibility with us? Anything is better than dealing with the constant circulation of drama in this damn vault. Whoa. You sound pretty Do you cool, really man. mean that? Yeah, well, hey, I don't know. Pick up another girl. With all the crazy shit going on with the food shortage and violence, I could use a break from the drama. 
I just need someone to talk with about things. Try to get some perspective on life. Now that we're growing up and the vault is changing... I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll see you tonight back at your house and we can talk, okay? I've got to take care of some things first. Then I'll come by with some drinks. She's got a robot arm. That's what I think that's supposed to be. Anything for me? No. Let's run up there, see if there's anything up there. Looks like some stadium seats. That's the door. She can't go through. Let's hop on. Is that another vault ball I just saw? Yes, it is. We're going to start collection on this. Can we throw one? I'm, I'm curious. Oh, it's supposed to be a bomb. Uh, yeah. I want it. Oh, it's not a bomb. Okay. We can pick it. Oh yeah, we can pick it back up. Come on. Throw a touchdown. Yeah. Come back here. Kind of cool. Oh, we can't lift trash cans. It's a little disappointing. Hey, Jamie. We get the booze. We'll meet up later. Security. Oh, they're kicking the ball around. That's a nice little touch. Hey, we got a bar. Hey. Hey. Nope, can't, can't hack that. Uh, okay. Simulate. Mm. Sounds delicious. Hey, taking a late night walk? Dude, congratulations. It's great to see you finally get that trophy you've been working for. Oh, I'm not on the team anymore. Coach Bragg decided I'm some sort of freak and kicked me out last week. But hey, it's all cool. I'm a creative guy. I have all kinds of great stuff to keep me busy. Oh, these are my comics. I draw these because I don't know how to write. I never learned, but I know how to draw. They tell all of these stories and dreams I have. I really like to daydream and Pretty share sure them with people. To it's cool too. to know those thoughts can exist outside my head. Yeah, me too. Some of them feel more like memories. I can't really see anything clearly, but I think that's why they make such good stories. I can take them and just fill in the gaps that I misunderstood, which makes for a really complex narrative. I don't know, maybe everyone's first stories are really just misinterpretations of reality. Yeah, yeah I want back in my room. You should drop by later. I'll show you some of the backstory of this issue. Yeah, sure. Let's have
Don't look like me, Selma. Let's see what these perks we got are. Born soldier. Oh, that's really nice. Ten guns. Plus two damage deterrence. Plus ten all weapons. I like that. And one perception. Oh, that's... Thing will make Vault 18 great it's again. Really nice. Good old fashioned elbow grease and American ingenuity. Oh, cracks, take all this food. Floors. Do I need the food right now? Not really. Let's go look around a little more. Somebody's got some ego issues. Really hope they get that generator fixed up soon. Everywhere I go, there's a weird buzz. Oh, oh, well. Good thing we don't gotta use the bathroom. So we have common rooms. One there. Can we go in the lab? No, we can't go in the lab. Go to the quarters. Okay, scary's there. Let's go check out the common room first. Generator fixed up soon. Everywhere I go, there's a weird buzz. Okay, I've got some quick lifting. Probably gonna regret picking up all these vault balls. I don't think they're gonna do anything. Hmm. air condition. Okay, I think Okay, I think that gives us a bonus charisma. We might go through and see which of these armors are best. That's a lot of bricks, so Okay, let's check out these armors. Could go with shirtless look if you want to. Uh, but you no, know, most of this stuff loses armor. That's apparently the cost of having you know, no sleeves. So, let's put all the stuff in there. We, we don't want it. Definitely don't want that. We'll keep the 90. I don't know who owns that. Thank you, fire hose would just be for everybody. Hey, 
Alright kids, can I have the ball? No, I, I guess not. Let's... Hey, no running in the hall. Hey, no running in the hall. Hey, I'm supposed to go into work, sir. Up. So this got to be security. I got him out there. Turn on that flash slide. Okay, Jay's our flashlight. Hey, lady. Great job winning the game. Congratulations. I'm a rock star. Yeah, it was really impressive. I'm glad Coach Bragg started getting you kids in shape. So yeah, what brings you four. to the administration office tonight? Oh, well, that's weird. Haven't you seen everything a hundred times already? If you're getting stuck yeah, crazy, course I have. you should report to the infirmary and get checked out. Vault madness is your responsibility. No one else's. Was there something else you needed? Have a good night. I just want to say good night to the secretary. Talk to the vault overseer. Hey, yo. Caps, uh, yeah. Well. All right, so I'm guessing that's the overseer's office. Get back there. I want to see the blue. Uh, okay. We're not going to start fighting this early. Got a movie theater, that's really nice. Hydroponics. Did I miss security? You motherfucker! The hell are you doing out on that fucking field? You nearly broke my fucking kneecap. I'm going to be flying at half mast the rest of the goddamn night. I hope you're happy. Mm. No, okay, Didn't mean to my ass. You're a patriot. I'm a barbarian. You jerk offs are always gunning for us. I bet old daddy Red State told you to bust my ass on purpose. We're the fucking B team he uses as target practice. Why don't you go back there and suck a star spangled dick? If you motherfuckers want a real fight, how about we settle it off court next time? You know what? I'm yeah, all right. Team. You weren't even on the team until last night. Well then, I guess I'm a little sorry. But you do know that gun-toting blowhard is just using you, right? There's rumors he's planning to rig the overseer's election. You know anything about that? 
Okay, well, fuck. Now I feel like a dick. How about this? I'm sorry for trying to jump all over you. I'm just sick of being treated like a basement dweller. So if I find out you've been helping Bragg's thugs for real, I'll bust your ass. Deal? Yeah, maybe after a few rounds of Medex. Now get out of here and let me rest. Yeah, I don't know. I'm starting not to feel so... so sorry for him. No babies. Okay, so we can take these skins that are just kind of lying out here. Take all that. But yeah, we can't take out the lockers. How do I get this? Should have been reading this whole time. Just got a bunch of sandbags. Man, that Bragg's an asshole. I'm not the only one creeped out by that guy, right? Oh, hey! A little weird. You're here to see Chevy? Sure you can, sport. Just remember that Chevy. Well, she's a tough one. Tread carefully. Come on. You should watch out if you're going past vault security. They're real hard asses about everything. That's that's you. You're scared. So he's got a lot of mistress. Gun the player gun. that won the football game is here to see you. Your brother sent him. Shotgun, a rifle. I know. Thank you, Aaron. Knives, grenades. Twelve point seven millimeter. You, yes, of course. ARs. So you're the replacement. What's your name, recruit? Interesting. Try again. Okay, hmm. it'll be nice. And why is it you want to join Vault she Security? Has a lot of guns well spoken. You meet my expectations. I'll issue you your armor and sidearm. Be prepared to start your training in the morning. Do you have questions for me? John isn't as perceptive as I am. I know a soldier when I see one, even when they don't know it themselves. I'm not simply a security officer, I am a lieutenant. When it is time to fight, my place is beside my men, making sure that my troops survive. If I haven't done well in teaching them to listen, then I will fail in that mission. What have you learned of me so far? That you are missing out, I and not much else. Go on. You're learning quickly. You're humble. I give you a chance to make mistakes and you step in line. That's a trait I appreciate. You've impressed me enough that I may send you back to John. I know he'd like to see you again after you're done here. There are many ways that I'll train you, physically and mentally. You're a born soldier, and that makes you my perfect match. For now, 
You should ask John what he would have you do. He sent me to you. Dr. Rossman is the one who decides who... Dr. Rossman will either be in the computer lab or in his home preparing for bed in the lower apartments. You should seek him out to hear his stories. They may teach you something about serving me. Exactly. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 0500. Do not complain. Do not be late. Okay. Great work out there today. Have a good night. Oh, we got some armor. It's okay. Oh, it has no defense, though. So we may not be using this armor very long. Just so you know, we can kind of fit in. Blend with this guy, say, hey, guys, I'm one of you. Sorry we missed it, man. We had a game going on tonight. But, but... Oh, yeah, it's... I'm sure it was great. Sean? What? I, I thought we were gonna try to fake it. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so these guys are at home playing, I guess. Kind of Dungeon Dragon sort of thing. I think that's our room. Hey, kid. Here to see my daughter, are you? Hmm. You're that kid from next door. I haven't seen you around much. Jin said you'd be stopping in to help her with a little problem. Just make sure it's not going to get the two of you into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, but not really. We need more babies in Vault 18, so go have fun. No, seriously. Daddy! Okay. What? <laughs> that was... Hey, yeah, don't let strange. Dad freak you out. We don't have to make babies if you don't yes, want to. Yes, you do. Shut up, Dad. Uh, uh, come on, follow me. It's our duty to keep the What's human that? race going, sweetheart, and you're... Dad, seriously? Serious. Old and playing with toys like that. Engage. Ears turned off. Uh, Just make sure to... Thanks for coming. I know it's your big night and all. Probably everybody wants a piece of the star player's action, huh? Uh, well, oh, I know you just had a chance to talk to Coach Bragg and Lieutenant Chevy. I was wondering if you managed to, well, see a secret list when you were in there. Really? Oh, thank God. Me neither. The guy scares me. Like, he's got a really dark presence to him. Mm, Here's the condensed version of the story. I've been watching Bragg and the Patriots for a while now. You know, spy stuff. So, last night, I overheard him talking about this list he keeps on his terminal in his office. Everyone in the vault is on it, and they're organized somehow by letter, like some kind of itinerary. I wouldn't normally care, but he mentioned me directly. At first I thought he noticed me listening in the hall, but I'm a real good spy. He said that I'm on the B list because I'm not smart or fit enough to make it onto his winning team, but I'm fit for other things. I... I know this sounds stupid, but if you could talk to him... You're his best player, and I know you have a way with words. 
It's a long shot, but maybe he could honestly tell you what it's about, and then I'd be okay. Maybe it's just a stupid health thing or whatever. But what if it isn't? Dad is a wasteland scout. He's seen things. He told me that Bra gives him a good feeling, but it's never that simple. Vault 18 has a dozen enemies. And some of the shit Bragg has been training his patriots to do? It's getting scary. Like I said, I hope it's nothing. But if it isn't, then I want to know about it. I'm studying every day to become a wasteland scout like Dad. It's something I'm really passionate about. If Bragg really is up to no good with his patriots, then the Overseer will listen to me. I can't just bring this to him without proof, though, which is where you come in. Bragg trusts you. He'll be willing to talk. Let me know what you find, and if you won't hand over the information, we'll go on an adventure together. Good luck. Clean up. Okay. Let's go see this Dr. Ross. Hey there. You sure look like you're keeping busy. Keep up the good work. busy right now. What's on your mind? Well, you look a little bit lost. Let me help you. The door is right there. Where's me? You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't invite you for a chat, though, did I? Listen, I don't actually have time for pointless conversation. Well, I might if you did my job for me. But really, I don't think you're that smart. Yeah, that's right. Smart jock, huh? Okay. Well, if you're so smart, I might have a job for you. These computers are linked to Maria, but she locked us out of most of them. I want you to talk to Dr. Rossman and get permission to break into them. There's some important information I want on the Tier 2 network. Well... I'm stuck here working on the pulse modulator for this pistol. But I have a kind of side project going on. I'm trying to piece together exactly what happened to our parents. Something went very wrong a long time ago, and we ended up here, in Vault 18. No one will tell me what happened, and honestly, I doubt they know. It all happened in a kind of rush. Go talk to Dr. Rossman, and ask him for permission to work on Maria. Then I can try to find out what happened. Yeah, maybe. Dr. Rossman should be willing to help us out. He isn't very willing to tell us stories about the Wasteland Scouts or our adoption, though. Just be careful when you talk to him. Don't mention what we're doing. Tell him you're hitting on me or something. Pretty sure I am. Yo, Jock, your ears still ringing from the game? The Overseer wants to see you in his office. It's all over the intercom. Just because you can run fast or some shit doesn't mean you get to ignore the Overseer. We've lived in this vault for- Congratulations to the Patriots on yet another win against the Vault Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another person wants to see us. We'll go see him later. Why don't you send the winning player Let's up to my this office? Let's look like at Oh, gain one's intelligence. Fairly nice. 
Still looking for. Ah, uh, don't want to walk the current. It's not really. I think I already kind of lost him too. 